Uh, firstly, thanks, thanks everyone. It's a full house. I, uh, you know, it's really overwhelming. Thank you for coming, everyone. Um, so you know, I was nine years old uh, when I heard something that played out of a speaker. I think it was Tirra Tirra at the time, and uh, you know, it was unbelievable what uh, Indian music, like A.R. Rahman, actually showed us at that time. I was, I, I didn't even know his name at the time. But you knew when his songs played because it it made your sound system sound more expensive, uh, and and you knew that there was he was he had always been at the apex of sound technology, and to wind music within the narrative not just as something that plays as a song in between the story but actually to take the character and make him the musician and so therefore the sound is as important as the camera when you're making the film. So, uh, not only has the technology been uh, always, you know, right at the at the very pinnacle, you know, we've been at the forefront of it because it's A R Rahman. But uh, the story itself demanded that. So, the the music, the sound design, as well as uh, the way things have been recorded and the way things are going to be played when you actually watch the film is, I think it's it pretty much is the best that uh, it can get for Indian cinema. And for me. Uh, when, when, when I was nine years old, that stuff sounded like, oh, this is the possibility of how Indian music can sound. And it was so international and, and it felt like it, it could be, it was Hollywood uh, standards. And uh, what, what I have tried to do in this film is to make sure that the visual also matches up to, uh, you know, the, the grandeur of his music. And uh, I, so I hope, I hope that our visuals are atmos as well. To actually just explore possibilities because um, I've been blessed with so many great filmmakers and producers who, who came to me and and extracted work from me and I had benefited by their intellect and as a team we produced so many albums but then I felt like after going to Hollywood actually why don't we do something and see explore go even more further because when you when a creative person thinks about a story or what could be done with music it could get dangerous. <laughs> exactly. You could sell your house also sometimes. But Oh my god, did it come it to that? <laughs> hope it doesn't go there. <laughs> we have to be super careful. And I have a lot of friends who advise me and we have a great team. And Vishwesh is done. He's a musician himself and he's a filmmaker and he has taken uh, my vision much further and is extracted. I put him into deep trouble a lot of times. I've given him new faces like Ihan has been shaped up by Vishwesh and you when you see the movie you'll understand what how he's acted and it's amazing to extract something beautiful from new people and you know the legends like Manisha Karala, these are very good afternoon everyone. Uh, thank you for coming here today. Uh, my name is Ihan and I just finished uh, shooting for this film recently. Uh, you know it's been uh, in uh, unbelievable educational learning process um, anyone can have in their lifetime uh, and I've realized not only uh, what it is to be an actor but to realize the importance of uh, making movies and uh, music every time I'm with him um, uh, his quest for like learning is is incredible he's always hungry for more, he's always trying to push the boundaries, uh, he's always trying to push the limits. I mean, he's a, uh, he's, he's, he's phenomenal. So uh, it was, because he wanted that authenticity to, of uh, portraying a musician, you know, he wanted that authenticity to be there. And there I learned piano for over a period of one year. But I didn't think anything stopped for a year. The thing is that I would rather a person not fake it when we're actually filming it than because you use a lot of trickery often, you know, even with stunts and things like that. So when, when it's about something as sensitive and, I mean, let's let's not make any uh, mistake. It's A.R. Rahman getting into movies. So you can't fake the music there. Yeah, that, no. that, that would be that would be a cardinal error, you know. So I, I don't think that there was any question about the fact that the... It was not just Ihan, but uh, Ihan's uh, the uh, best friend in the film, a uh, boy named Tenzin who's sitting right there. We'll see him on the trailer, what he does. So, yeah, so not only uh, did they, so they, they they play buddies and band, bandmates in a film, so they literally bunked up together for a year. So they were living together for a year, being bandmates. He was learning drums and Ihan was learning piano. And I would frequently meet them and then try and, you know, have like lengthy conversations into the night about what it is like to, to play in a band. and. 
you know what's that brotherhood like so what happened was uh, karan grover who was big an inspiration for me to jump into this all is fault and sharda so they first came in what have you done sir i said what happened you have a new director you are a new writer and you have a new hero and then your budget is like akshay kumar budget or something is it but you won't get the return so i said like why not yeah that's how it is so they just crunched it and crunched it and crunched it and I said no i can't make compromises so they were torturing him and he would ask for something big and they will give him something <laughs> but you will never notice you see the scale of the movie is from the trailer so i knew that when some important scenes are have to be expanded i'll go and stand there and then the executive producer will look at me please don't do this too. please don't make it four days is only we have only one day and then it'll make four days or five days so those i will go and stand and they'll come back again for for them to torture him <laughs> the mathematics would change if he's around if he's not the around it's too real explode. you know yeah because those are the scenes which need that uh, love not that every scene need love but it's a it's an art between you know commercial and creative stuff if you go, cre- go too creative you have to sell all your property <laughs> and you, <laughs> so my wife was looking at me what are you doing and she was a great support she thing yeah my daughters yeah but it's such an exciting uh, it is the first attempt and i hope uh, we probably within all the limitations we run our best thing right mm-hmm.